Welcome to this special edition of Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David, live from SHOT Show in Las Vegas, where I'm searching for great new gear and hanging out with some really interesting folks. I think you're going to enjoy what I've got queued up for you in this video, so let's get started. Hey guys, so I stopped by the Maxpedition booth, and I'm here with Tim. Thanks, Tim, for spending the time with me. Thank you, David. And... We've already spent a good half hour looking at your gear, and I'm really, really impressed. Looks like you guys have reinvented yourselves this year. Total, we're gonna look at four product categories. This is one of those. So tell the guys what we, what we have here. Okay, David. So these are our two new adventure travel bags. Okay. Come in two sizes. Iron Storm, larger. Iron Cloud, which is smaller. And this is carry-on size. So David, nice. we completely reinvented the way we do things. Um, and I would call it an upgrade. Um, everything was upgraded. We went to the drawing board on materials and components. And we, a lot of these materials are custom developed and they are exclusive to our line. Let's take a look at this bag. Um, top and bottom, you see this is what we call the modular attachment lattice. It is our patent pending design. And you use this to do mo molly weaving. This is cut from one solid piece of material. It's a lot stronger. You see um, some new construction methods that we've introduced. A lot of inlays. So this is our sh shape shift webbing. It's uh, we call it shape shift shift webbing because it's custom designed by us to transition between a flat to a round cross section. Now this webbing is bar tacked here, then box and X dives down underneath this piece of thousand denier and is stitched twice here. It comes over here and ties into a one inch piece of webbing that traverses here unseen that's sewn to the second layer of fabric that's hidden underneath it. So when you lift this, you're actually lifting this whole H-shaped structure that spreads the tension over this large surface area. So a lot of more intricate uh, construction methods. Uh, it's, an, it's a refinement. Um, the strength is as good as or better, but obviously it looks very polished. We changed all of our flat webbing to four bar nylon seatbelt webbing. A few features that, that I want to show is that on this frontal zipper, you can wear this uh, vertically as a backpack. The frontal zipper, we put a zipper garage here. Nice. And this keeps the zipper tab inside from working its way down or someone coming up from behind you and stealing your stuff. We have this is really nice. Tuckable yoke straps. So this strap, it clips into here and you can wear it as a backpack. Double straps is connected on top, so forms this ergonomic U-shape. Backpack straps is the most important aspect of a backpack. Absolutely. Because if that breaks, you can't carry it anymore. So there's a very large opening on these bags. Cubic inches on this? Uh, it's 62 liters, 62 liters, which translates into 3,780 cubic nice. inches. Good bug out bag. So, main compartment, you can see this is our new very visible grayscale interior. So, nice. very visible means um, it's a lighter color. We selected gray because it's a more subdued color to match with the exterior. Uh, there are different shades of gray. So, the liner fabric is the lightest color. We have the gossamer mesh, which is one shade darker. And the remainder of the details are another shade darker. Nice, so nice. it allows you to see the contents as well as the contrast between the different components that are within inside. So what I like about the lighter interior, and you, you touched on this, is that in some of my packs that are darker, I just can't find stuff. Right, there's, exactly. There's not enough contrast to see the contents inside, especially small items. Mm -hmm. So kudos on that. Really nice. Thank you. This is also, you can also see a wide use of our gossamer mesh. So most, most mesh <clears throat> have a bunch of holes in it. When you do that and you tuck it into a seam, needle goes up and down and sews, sometimes through material, sometimes through air. So that results in seams coming out. With this gossamer mesh, you can see that there is the, the main weave, which gives it the strength. But in all the voids that on most people's gear is holes, it's actually filled with fiber. Yeah, exactly. So this is a solid piece of material and when you stitch it, it's always going through material. So this is very strong. So imagine running an exterior fabric used for cross-country running. We've taken that material and applied it to the inside of our Maxpedition bags. Nice, stepping it up, man. It's good. 
there's there's two sizes. Two this sizes? one is carry on. Okay. Um, yep. A lot of uh, resources were needed, and I think that that differentiates advanced gear research from our other competitors who pick and choose existing materials out of a catalog. What we wanted to create here is something that people couldn't just piece together. You know, they needed to design it from scratch, and I think that's that differentiates advanced gear research from stuff we've made in the past as well as what our competitors are doing. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is our new, uh, this is our new line. So. Iron Cloud, Iron Storm. People can find you at maxpedition.com. That's correct. Tim, thanks, man. For Thank you. Time. Thanks a lot. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that we've mentioned in the video description. Just click the Show More tab under this video. And for all 30 of our SHOT Show 2016 videos, click the link on your screen or in the video description for your free subscription to the Ultimate Survival Tip Show on Carbon TV. Thanks for watching.